Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful blue flowers earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. You could always ask me anything in the comments. I have a short announcement before we start. Now, if you decide to become a member of this channel by clicking on the join button on, or the link in description, you will get the course 5 unexpected designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch. And uh, there are other perks that you will see if you click on the link. So that was my short announcement and now let's continue with the list of the materials. Okay guys and what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads. I also use earring findings in silver color. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, Facebook page where you could share pictures of your creations that you did following me. And as I mentioned in the beginning, if you click the link in the description or the join button, you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. And this is the course 5 expected designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch and some other perks that you could also check out. It's less than $5 per month and you could start and cancel anytime. Okay, let's continue. This is size 10 beading needle, but you could use size 11 or 12 if you want. These are scissors and uh, these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 beads here and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle here in my mat and what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and then I pull gently okay and now what I want to do is make one more knot and again gently pull making sure you are between those two beads where you started your knot from. Now this is what I have and I want to go through some beads in this direction. Okay, and I have this beautiful circle. Now what I'm going to do next is pick up two, black, two blue beads one black bead and two blue beads okay now i have this and as i'm exiting through this black bead guys i'm skipping the one that's on my way and i'm going through the following bead and i pull then i'm going to repeat this i'm taking two blue beads one black and two blue and I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay. Then again, I will repeat it one more time and then I will show it a little bit faster until the end of this row. Okay, take these five that I mentioned skip one and go through the following okay and now do this until the end of this row Okay. 
okay and now I have this and in my next step guys I'm going to go through these two blue beads in this direction see where I'm going my thread is exiting here out of this blue bead then I skip the black and the blue here in this direction I mean I go through them not skip them okay and here in my next step I take one black bead and my goal is to go through this blue through the second blue counting from the center okay then I go again through the black and through the blue bead like this take one black and go here then again through the black and through the blue one black and go here okay and now guys I will continue this until the end of this row and here I am where I'm adding the last bit from this row and now as I'm exiting here you see where my thread is I'm going to pick up five white beads okay I have my five on my needle you see five of them and I skip this black one that's on my way and I go through the following blue you see what I have here when I pull I have this then the next black I'm not adding anything through it but I'll go through it and through the following blue and now you see where my thread is here and I'm going to pick up five blue beads okay five blue sorry five white beads sorry five white beads and I skip the black and go through the blue then again black and blue and I'm going to add five white beads again okay I have them here and exiting out of one of the black beads I skip the one of the blue beads I skip the black and go through the following okay guys and now off camera I will continue doing this adding white beads here here and here and I'll meet you at this point okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads from this row you see I add them here now what I want to do next is go through all of those beads like this then I also go through the top white bead here and through the one after that okay top white and the next one then what I want to take here are three black beads okay three blacks and I go here through these top three white beads you see what I do the top three of the whites then I'm going to pick up three more and I go here through these three as well okay like this 
then again three and go here through these three and I will continue this until the end of this row okay guys and as I'm exiting here through the first of the three beads three black beads that I added in the, my previous row what I need to add here are three more black beads and I skip the second bead and go through the third one and also through the next white okay this is what I add here then in my next step I want to take three more white beads and as I'm exiting through the first white I skip the second one and go through the next white and also through the following black then I'm doing the same thing but this time with black beads exiting out of the first black skip the second and go through the next white and black while adding three blacks and where I have blacks I add black beads and where I have whites I add white beads okay here I do the same thing and I think you got the idea and I will finish this until the end and I'll be back okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row now here I needed to help myself with my pliers okay and now in my next step what I need to do is go in this direction through three black beads and I want to exit through the bead that's sticking out the most okay I'm exiting here out of the top bead and in my next step I'm going to pick up 11 blue beads okay now I have my 11 beads here I'm double checking the number okay they are 11 and as I'm exiting here from the top I will go in the next bead that's sticking out the most the black one I mean skipping the white not going through it and going through the black then in my next step I will repeat this thing I will take 11 blue beads okay I have my 11 here and I'm going in the next black bead okay guys and I'll do this four more times until I'm up to here and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last 11 beads from this row and now what I want to do is go in this direction through six beads okay one two three four five six and when I go through six I'm in fact in the middle of these 11 beads and here I want to add three beads like this I take three and as I'm exiting from the sixth bead counting from this inner angle I go like this backwards through the same bead you see I have a loop between those three beads and this one here and when I pull it they all come here so this is the middle bead and here I have five one two three four five here I also have five one two three four five and now I will go through all of those beads 
and through the angle bead which is black just like this then I will also go through the next blue bead and I'm going to take one black bead and I'm going back in circle through this blue through the black and back again through all of those beads okay now I went through four beads I need to go through two more because I need to go through six if you remember now I need three blacks go back through this one like I did before and pull then again go through all of those beads reach the angle here is what I have up until now then I go through the first blue bead like this take one black and I go just like this in this direction okay and then again what I do is that I go through six of those beads and I take three and I go back like this here and I pull then I go in this direction and I'll show you one more time how I'm adding this one bit that the angle I'm going through the blue one that is just after the angle I'm taking one black and I go back through the blue before the angle through the angle black bead and then backwards in this direction okay I think you got the idea so I'll finish this work and I'll meet you here okay guys and I, I'm here where I'm adding my last bead from this row okay then what I want to do is go in this direction and I want to exit here through the top blue bead like this then I want to go through these two black beads and through the third one as well okay now here what I want to take are four black beads okay four of them and as I'm exiting from this black bead here the third one I will go through this one here adding these four that I mentioned okay now this is what I have and I'm taking three more adding them here like this then I go through the third one here again like I did before and I will be adding four more beads okay and I will continue these guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last four beads from this row and what I want to do next is go through all of those beads in this direction I will exit through the one that's here at the angle and through the next one through the one that's after the angle okay 
this is what I do then I'm going to take three blue beads and I go back through the one before the angle and through the one at the angle and I pull and then I go in this direction through all of those beads through as many beads as I can reaching the outer angle okay and I'm aiming for the inner angle you see go through all of those beads and through the inner angle you see and I pull and then I go through the following bead after the angle just like that and then I take three blue beads and I go back like this and now guys I'm going to repeat these steps until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am at almost my last step where I just added my last three beads and what I want to do is now attach my earring finding and I'm exiting here at the top where I want to attach it and I'm taking it I take two beads then I take my earring finding and then I take two more seed beads and I go back in circle through this black one now at this point guys what I want to do is reinforce and how I do this I go through those beads here one more time okay then I make a knot and I cut my thread and my earring is ready okay guys and now my blue flower seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them consider subscribing with the bell liking and sharing this video in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials you could also check description for full list of materials facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me link for paypal donations and don't forget that now if you become a member you get the course five unexpected designs you could do with peyote stitch and other perks as well that you could check when you click on the join button it's less than five dollars a month and you could start and cancel it anytime you want thank you so much for watching bye bye from me